I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Don't just guess on the last few questions so you can get the test over with, because th those last few questions are important. For the English portion, if you have one of those long paragraphs, just read the question first so you know what you're looking for so you don't stress yourself out. Chew make gum. And eliminate answers that do not make sense. Like square root! Good night's sleep and then eat a really good breakfast in the morning. Remember that it's trying to find a, what you don't know. It's okay to make an educated guess. You don't have to spend forever trying to get the right answer. Get a good night of sleep. Do you have any tips for math testing? Um, are you sure? Hi, I'm Chloe. And I'm Lainey. Since it's near Christmas, we decided to interview some of our students and find out some of their holiday, their favorite holiday traditions. Here's some of the footage from our interviews. My favorite holiday tradition is um, Christmas, like sitting around the fireplace drinking hot chocolate and like, you know, yeah. I know. My favorite holiday tradition is on Christmas Eve when my whole family gathers together and we make gingerbread houses. Um, my favorite family tradition is when we eat cookies and watch movies. My favorite holiday tradition is unwrapping one present before Christmas. Next Friday at lunch, we'll be selling Holiday Hugs and Kisses. What's that? Holiday Hugs and Kisses is where you buy, for a dollar, you can buy a bag of candy and send it to your friends for the holiday. What if I want more than one? Well, we have a five dollars for, f no, four dollars for five bags of candy deal.
and Designs, returning for my third episode of Holiday Treats. Today I am going to be making Oreo Snowmen. Our ingredients are white fudge covered Oreos, candy toppings of your choice, different colors, whatever you want, and icing. So the first step, you take your white fudge covered Oreo, put it down on your tray, and then get out the sprinkles and candy toppings you want to use for its base. I've got some brown sprinkles right here, and then I'm going to use a orange M&M as his nose. So then you're going to need to take your frosting, and you're going to, I like to do the nose first, but you can do whatever you want first, and put some on the back of it, and then stick it about in the center, I'd say, right around there. And then you're going to do the eyes. So put a little bit of frosting up here, and then place your eyes down where you want them to go. Like that. And then you're going to do the mouth. So you're going to need some more of these. And place them down where you want them. Like that. But be sure to leave a couple, a little space between them. So it looks like real coal, even though it's not, it's frost, it's sprinkles. Like that. And that is how you make it. Be sure to watch the season finale of Holiday Treats, where I will be co-hosting with a special guest. Zone broken up and... 